Yo guys, and welcome back to another Shadow of War video. This one is a special one, it's my 1000 subscriber special, so thank you all, each and every one of you, for every time you've watched, liked, commented, subbed uh, on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it's a milestone, honestly, I never thought I'd hit um, until one of my Shadow of War videos started popping off and I started making more content on this game. And honestly, I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, still got plenty, plenty more videos to come. Um, potentially going out into other games in the future, but for now the focus will be on Shadow of War for the for the for the foreseeable future at least. Um, I've been speaking about this quite a bit in a, diff in a few different videos. I've had a lot of you ask questions about when it's coming out, and I was trying to save it for this 1,000 subscriber milestone, but it is finally happening, and it is my garrison tour so as you know like a part of the niche with this channel is taking on hacked fortresses in shadow of war you tend to meet them in pc um high ranked online conquest lobbies um and yeah a lot of people on console don't ever get to fight them and a lot of people find them quite interesting they are quite fun to fight for the most part they can be very challenging um but this game the most interesting part of this game is the unique varieties of orcs that you get and collecting those in your garrison is something I find quite fun um, and then at the end of the video I've got a little challenge to show some of you you'll see by the background I'm actually in my Lithlad fortress uh, so I've got a little challenge at the end for some of you guys that are on PC at least so without further ado let's get into the garrison so um, <clears throat> you got to see I've got a bunch of training orders and unopened chests for different conquests and things, but I'm not going to go through those. I'm going to go through the followers. You can see I've got 102. I think pretty much all of these are hacked orcs. There may be one or two that aren't actually hacked, but we're just going to go through them one by one. Hoshgrish the Unashamed. So, yeah, you get this guy um, naturally is by like multiple shaming, and then eventually they turn to this, this type of guy. Um, you can see there's like obviously the white hand marks comes from you shaming an enemy. So all hacked orcs will share this. They will have the seven immunities. They actually have eight. They have all possible immunities. Um, they just can't display them all. Um, enrages change quite a bit depending on the hacked orc that you're looking at, and the, also the type of hacked orc they are. As do class traits. Um, so a lot of hacked orcs will be whatever, be tanks, berserkers, or whatever. But pretty much all of them have. No Chance, which is an assassin-only trait. They have uh, Death Defying, which is a tank-only trait. It might not show all of them in this list. Again, it can only display seven. Um, but they have a lot of the, the special traits that certain classes have um, that other classes can't get. Um, but they just have all of them. But yeah, Final Venom, for example, is um, it throws out loads of explosions once you kill someone. That's a destroyer-only trait, from what I understand. Um, but yeah, they, they just get them all. So yeah, this guy's a poisonous mystic tank. And then you'll see this on all the hack talks as well. All these red box traits. I can go through them actually. Some of you guys won't know what each one of these does. This is from the Lithlad DLC actually. Um, it's like a roguelike mode where you have to train up survivors um, and take on a fortress yourself. Uh, but you play as Baronor, who's you know not the main character, which is Talion. Um, and then weaknesses. They'll pretty much always have zero weaknesses. <clears throat> so, here we go. That's for the Tyrant. Tyrants are like a very, very standard hacked orc. You can see seven immunities, or eight technically. Zero enrages. Uh, he's a berserker. Cursed as well. Most hacked orcs will be cursed, because curse takes away wrath. And one of the best ways of killing hacked orcs is... Wrath give a sword in wrath mode, so draining wrath is a great thing to do. How many times did I say wrath in that sentence? Uh, but yeah, you can see final curse, even though he's a berker, uh, a berserker. Um, and then you know you see here advanced class berserker enraged in battle. Yeah, he has no enrages, so it's all just it's all just a load of a load of junk really, depending on how people have added the traits in. I'm not sure, but that guy, the tyrant guy, is particularly common. You see them a lot. I'll show you the other guys I call them. Hura Manbreaker. Poisonous Dark Berserker. So you can start to see a lot of replication. The most important things really with a hack talk are the enrages and what they look like. You know? Are they cool? Because they're all pretty much about as strong as each other. Mug the Infernal. You get a lot of these guys, like tower looking dudes mixed with some other stuff. 
Enraged by Caragors and Bestial Frenzy. This guy's a commander, um, so he will have some of the commander perks, like war banners and rallying troops and things like that. Um, but again, some of the others, some of the non-commander hackdorks will also have those. Hawk the Tricky. You see quite a few variations of this guy, of which we'll see. This guy is actually an undead. Uh, okay, I, I was going to say, how did I capture an undead? I must have captured him normally. He must have died, and then I made him undead and chucked him in here. So, Undead uh, hackdorks are actually very difficult to take down because they don't break, and one of the best ways of taking on a hackdork is to shame them when they get broken. Enraged by Caragors, Beast of Frenzy, Cursed Warmonger Commander. And again, he's got the, the tower looking armor. Oh, yeah, something I didn't say as well. Pretty much all hackdorks are these defender style, you know, the big shield, big uh, spear. Is that a spear or halberd or whatever it is? Um, the reason that people make hackdorks like that is because um, it's effectively the strongest class in the game. Here we go. Uh, probably one of the most unique orcs we've seen so far. Uh, I call this guy the Hulk, but uh, Lissak the Puny. Cursed Dark Destroyer. Um, but yeah, he's big and green and he looks like the Hulk. He's also got Thor's hammer by the look of it. <laughs> um, Olog Strength. He's got, yeah, again, no chance, which destroyers don't get that. He doesn't actually look um, like he's got that many different perks. Obviously, only the five. Maybe he doesn't have Death Defying. Um, but this guy, spoiler alert, will be going in the Lithlad Fortress um, as part of my challenge later on. Book, book, the Wicked. Cursed Dark Commander. Cool little helmet. He looks like the guy from um, Shadow of the Colossus. What's the game that came before Shadow of the Colossus? Two Horn the Horned Lord. Um, yeah, again, lots of similar things. That tribe bonus is quite cool, the Feral Claws. Um, you can actually, like, they actually sort of decapitate other orcs in their finishing move. That can be really, really useful. Uh, Grisha, Taskmaster. Again, another tower looking dude. He's got some fire on him. Enraged by Caragors. So be very careful about taking Caragors in. I'll try and move through a little bit more quickly through some of these. Tugog the Machine. The machines are really cool orcs. They just keep cheating death, keep coming back with like more mechanical parts to them. Uh, he looks really cool. Maku Blackthorn, again, tower-ish looking dude, very scary, enraged by Caragors, yeah, pretty standard, you're just going to see a lot of repetition. Tor's Tinder, so this is an orc you get as beating the, the Altarial campaign, the Elf Lady campaign. Um, so he's not, obviously you don't get the hacked version, but this is a hacked version. He's got Triple Strike, Sappers, No Chance, Final Blast, Machine Hook. He's got some cool things actually. I've never, I haven't never used this guy in battle, so he might be absolutely terrible. Because um, Ologs, uh, hacked Ologs look cool, but they are actually pretty rubbish against defenders. Mug Ear Collector, Cursed Feral Tank. He looks, you know, somewhat cool. I tend to ca uh, collect them when they're when they're unique and I haven't seen them before. I'll rock the Rhymer. So I love Rhymer, like Bard Orcs, they're called. Um, they're really, really cool. They do a little uh, little song when you speak to them, when you interact with them. I don't really like the red paint on him, but otherwise he looks quite cool. Luger the Butcher. This kind of butcher look is quite cool with like the apron and the blood splattered all over them. I've got quite a few of these guys. Again, Enraged by Caragors. I think it must just be commonly used because you get quite a lot of Caragors in uh, Online Conquests. Rash the Undaunted, so this is the other type. You have the Tyrant and you have the Undaunted. These are by far the most common hacked orcs you get in the entire game. Uh, you'll meet them so often, they're boring as hell. And they've got just rubbish personalities. So if you want to use a hacked orc for like a situation where they're probably going to get killed or you know just to sort of waste them, then that is the guy you want to use. Maku the Fixer. Okay, this is not a hacked orc. So he's, I think I'm going to put him in one of my other forts. So I'm trying to remove all hacked orcs from all forts except for Lifflad. Okay, Muzu Gorking. He looks cool. Again, got that sort of butcher style. Vengeful. When witnessing the death of an allied captain, that's pretty cool. Grouse, Beastal Frenzy, Caragors. With the assassins, agile, no chance, throwing knives. 
quite cool. Sergeant Dagor, Slayer of the Dead. He looks very cool. Dual wielded swords, if you can see that down there. Pretty sick. Uh, enraged by Caragol's Mortal Wounds. That's one of the best enrages that you can get. That's very, very cool. And of course, he looks sick. Hash the Fool. Not particularly interesting. Outlaw Berserker. Enraged by Caragor's Beastial Frenzy. Cursed though, so he's probably going to be pretty strong. Captain Baronor, Slayer of the Dead. Yeah, so very similar to the, the other guy we just met. Enraged by Mortal Wounds. There we go. <clears throat> um, I've got... This, I don't, he's not a necromancer, but some of them are definitely necromancers, but the trait is hidden. Um, Koth Beast Butcher. A Beast Butcher is probably the third type, I would say, actually. You've got the Tyrant, Undaunted, and then Beast Butcher is this, the third really common orc that you hacked orc that you find. Feral Claws, Tribonus, again, very useful. Because they can decapitate an orc, and when they're decapitated, they are dead for good. Grublet the Mystic. This guy looks really cool, I think, but you meet him quite commonly, and he's quite boring, actually. Um... I also think that even though he's, he says he's mystic, I think he's one of... He's got a skeleton on his shield. He's one of the guys that if you put him as your overlord, the throne room doesn't load in, and your fortress becomes unbeatable. So it's really, like, it's cheap, man. Because no one can beat your fortress. It's not cool. Thakrak the Hacker. Interesting name for a guy that is clearly quite hacked. I think he's also... Yeah, there you go. Cursed Tribeless Commander in the top left there. So when they're tribeless, the Overlord throne room doesn't load in. So don't be that guy. Don't put those guys as your Overlord. Gubu Beast Butcher. Same guy we saw last time pretty much, but he's got the, the Karagor helmet and purple paint instead. Purple or blue. Push Creep in the Infernal. You see this guy quite a lot. He's pretty cool though. I do like the Infernal um, helmet. Here we go. Uh, attack rather slippery. So I think we met Hawk the Tricky or Ronk the Tricky or something. And this is another one of those type of guys. Beastmaster. These guys are rubbish, the Trickies, man. They're just like... They die really quick in fights. It's quite annoying. Um, Two-Horn the Snowflake. Yeah. Snowflakes usually have like white paint on them. Which is why they're called Snowflake, I think. But yeah, whatever. Looks pretty cool. Crush... Bone Cusher. Uh, pretty cool. Nice helmet, like a ram or whatever. Or probably some Lord of the Rings animal that we don't actually know. Uh, Snagog the Betrayer. So again, like the Tyrant. No point spending too much time on him. Prak, Rot Beast. I love these guys. Like the poisoned, like ugly ass motherfuckers, man. Uh, enraged by Caragors. Power Crazed. After encountering a stronger enemy. I don't... How is that done? By level, perhaps? You won't meet many stronger enemies. Final Venom. What's that? Tr terror Chains. Oh yeah, the, uh, the Terror Tribe Bonus. And of course, all the hack traits. Yeah, he looks very cool. Golm the Crow. He looks very cool. Again, one of the few hacked orcs without a shield, actually. Quite interesting. Triple Strike, Smoke Bomb, Mystic Blade. They've got some really cool ones, the, um, the Trickster Mystic types. Bagger the Painted. Um, I actually captured this guy in one of my videos, I believe. But yeah, very cool looking orc. Purple paint, or like light white skin. So he's a spider summoner, den mother. That's really cool when you get some unique traits like that. Obviously, being a beastmaster. Very cool orc. Zog the Eternal. Now, a lot of you guys have met this guy, I, I guess, in the campaign. If you haven't, then spoiler alert. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is an undead necromancer. Uh, if you put him as your overlord, your throne room won't spawn in, so please don't do that if you capture this guy. But having a necromancer on your team is very good. He's got that green handprint on his face as well. It looks really cool. <clears throat> Offer the red. Um, yeah, so he's got like the... Uh, Maku the Fixer mask, the, that unique mask that he has, and he's got some tower armor and some sort of loads of stuff. It's a lot going on. Those blades as well. He's like axes. They're really cool. 
Uh, what do you got? Uh, Enraged by Mortal Runes. Perfect. Very, very strong. Final Blast. No chance. Call reinforcements as well. Strong guy. Forthog Orc Slayer. Here you go. I'm going to be doing some videos of this guy doing some pit fights. Uh, a few of you guys have requested that. But this is the Orc that was uh, created in the image of a developer that died during the making of this game. Um, someone said uh, recently actually in the comments that he was introduced as like a DLC and then if you bought the DLC some of those proceeds would go to, the, to his family but I don't really know I think there was some uh, some sort of like throwback from the community on that and um, they decided to make him free but yeah I don't know I, I didn't pay for anything I've never actually encountered him in my actual game but he is in my garrison Okay, Uga Kuga Corpse Grinder. He looks really cool, man. He's got a rat on the end of his spear. A dead rat. Yeah, it looks really sick. The, like, dark paint and everything. It looks really cool. Beastial free. You'll see that again. You'll see this so many times. So many times. I think it's just a really quick way to get them enraged. And when they're enraged, they're obviously more dangerous. Romp the Maniac, again. You can see their spear grows in size. These guys. The Maniac, the Tricky, the Slippery. But, yeah, I mean... Again, not that interesting in terms of stats, but his pain is really sick. Olgoth Stormbringer. Stormbringer is a really rare orc. Uh, there's like plenty of videos people have done on how to actually get them into your into your game. Um, but yeah, this guy's got a big mace. He looks like that's like the Sauron mace, actually. Is it or, or is it the Tower mace? Or maybe one of the Ring race. I can't remember. But yeah, somebody's mace. There we go, Ogbur, the Indomitable. He looks he looks pretty sick actually, those shoulder pads look pretty nice. Uh, typically I don't really like the war the warmonger style. They just remind me of like the basic orc. Here we go, another one, Ogthrax Ormonger. This time with a with a glowing sword. Looks very cool. Trapper. Oh, that's interesting. Frontline warrior. Uh, Douche the Hunter. This was... I'm not sure if it was exactly this one, but the Hunter is the first hacked orc that I ever captured. I met him in an online vendetta, and I you know, was freaked out, man. I didn't know what was going on. It took me like half an hour to beat him. It was absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't know if he's that particular one is the first one I caught, but definitely one of them. Two Horn Frogblood. Yeah, the Frogblood of, of all the green paint on them. Very, very cool. Feral Commander. Again, no enrages. A lot of these orcs don't have enrages, which makes them not quite as good. Takra Ghoulkeeper. So you know what this guy's got? Yep, Spider Summoner, Den Mother. Some really, really good um, things to use. Or, I guess unique. They might not actually be that useful against other hacked orcs. But at least the traits, traits are unique. Bagger the Poet. Again, uh, like a bard, singer, orc. Very, very cool. We'll give you a little rhyme when you meet him. Tuka the Dark. Um, I, I hate this dude, man. I just think he looks really shit. Uh, you guys might have a different opinion, but I try not to use these guys very much. I don't, I don't like the look of them. Um, it's just, I don't know. He just looks uncomfortably fat. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it, man. I don't really know what else to say. Og the Red. Um, this guy was actually one of my overlords. Um, one of these guys got killed during an online conquest. Just insta killed by another hack talk. So. Yeah, he looks sick though. He does look sick. But I don't actually think they're very strong because he's not a defender. Gaal, Bloodlust. Again, the Butcher style like looks really, really cool. He's got a fucking bad hairdo though, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Ball with a slippery again, another one of these guys, dark green. Captured him because he's unique. Scat Beast Butcher, green paint. You've seen this guy before, you know what he's like. Ranger Killer. Again, people really like the Ranger Killer, but I just I just don't think they look that cool, man. I just don't think they look that cool. But the Ranger Killer, the actual Ranger Killer in your game is incredibly rare. Norik the Smuggler. These are like the Drinkus and Alchemist style. Um, some really, really cool uh, people you get. Rampage, recklessly uh, charges into battle. <clears throat> Bagger the Reaper. So Bagger, uh, correct me if, if I'm wrong. I think Bagger is a is an orc that appears once in every in every person's game, but only once. That, that could be a load of bollocks. I can't really remember. 
Uh, but Bagger is always that painted like panda style, paint a white painted face with black eyes, black lips, and things. Um, but obviously, this guy's got all like the Marauder armor on and stuff like that, with a unfortunately murdered fellow on his shield. Very cool looking orc. Arcaro, Warmonger. I got this guy in an online conquest. There was a specific video about this guy. He is tough as shit. Very strong. Grisha, Thunderlord. You can see he's been struck by lightning or something. He's got a burned face. Watch out for that guy. Ronk, the Undaunted. I'm not even going to go into him. You know what he's like. You see him all the time. Uga Kuga Corpse Grinder. Again, we've seen him a bit earlier. Asdush, the Hunter. We've seen him earlier as well. Amug the Brown, a little bit like Uga Kuga Corpse Grinder, but a bit different. Nakra, the Scholar, yeah, the Scholar are cool, they, count. they carry around those like, um, whatever they're called, parchments or whatever, I forget what they're called. <clears throat> so it's got that like commander style helmet as well, very cool. Tyrant again, you've seen him. Musglob, the Tower. That is such a sick mace. It's made. Of, it's got like skeletons on it. That's so sick. Yeah, the, I think this is one of, if not the only hacked orc that I have that actually has a Karagor mount. They're they're really rare. Most of them don't. Goroth the hunter again. One of the first orcs I've ever captured. Possibly him. Arbaruk oathbreaker. So again, a hacked olog. They tend not to be. Uh, very very strong to be honest they, they get fucked up by other orcs but he's really cool with his um, scratches on his face as well Luga flame of war yeah, you get these guys they like if they die by fire they can cheat death and come back with this burnt skin and stuff they look really really sick very very cool Og the serpent I love these guys man they've got the serpent armor they praise the great serpent or something like that Cursed Mystic Tank. Gubu, Map Keeper. We've already seen a Map Keeper looking guy, but there you go. He's there again. Tars Heart Eater. Very uh, sinister looking orc. Lots of enrages. Very difficult. This is the kind of guy you want as your overlord, really. Lots of um, enrages and things. Crackhorn the Tricky. Again, um, similar to what we've seen before. This time he's white with red and orange paint and pink hair, man. Looks sick, bro. Another hunter. Another beast butcher. Norik the Blight. Again, one of the poisoned affected dudes. This one's a little bit different. Very cool, like porcupine ass looking armor. Dark tank. Very cool looking guy. Maku the Fixer. Is this the hacked version? There we go. Yeah, we got the hacked version of Maku the Fixer. I met him quite recently actually might have even been on a video can't remember hawk the unclean tower looking guy commanderish helmet Got that horrible jaw thing the mouthpiece looks awful <laughs> grom fear eater i like him the like dark skin as well like, i don't know whether it's paint or blood or whatever or smoke or something but it just looks sick man really really cool like ash or something Dukes the Wicked, again the horn guy. We've seen a few of these. Oh, he's a den mother, spider summoner. Might have to get him involved. Scoff the Poet, again, Bard Orc, very cool. So you can see that you start to see the types kind of repeated, but most of these will be unique to one another. Tars the Tyrant. He's like the Tyrant guys, but a bit fatter. Hura the Undaunted, seen him before. Bulgur the Tyrant, seen those guys. Tumug the Tyrant, I need to get rid of some of these guys. Lorm the Killer, similar to what we've um, seen a few few orcs ago, but Fiery Marauder Destroyer, so we can spawn sappers. Gund the Legend, this Legend armor looks really sick, I think. The Gondorian armor, very cool. I think it's Gondorian, right? Boog the Sadistic. This is one of the only uh, marksman hacked orcs that I've ever met in the game. Enraged by Morgul Flies. Power shot, explosive shot, quick shot. Loads of cool abilities. Uh, quite rubbish. They'll get absolutely destroyed by any like decent hacked orc. Scun the Wall. This guy's face looks really weird. That's one of the reasons I kept him. But otherwise, I don't like the look of him. Uh, but again, another hacked orc. 
Bash the giant, and this guy is as big as he seems. Man, massive. Really weird though. When you break them and you go to like capture them, they shrink down to normal size in your hand. Really, really odd. But yeah, he, he moves so quickly, even though he's huge. It's pretty, uh, pretty scary. Uga Kuga Corpse Grinder. We've seen him before. Snafu the Grizzled. Yeah, he's got like the the head scar thing. Really cool. Enraged by betrayal. When allies fight each other, yeah, that can be done when they get enraged and things like that. Loads of scars as well. Maku the Great. Oh, he's not even an actor. Yeah, he's going into. Here we go. Goroth the Indomitable. He's got that cursed look, man. Also tribeless, so do not put this guy as your as your overlord. Um, this is like one of the the slave type orcs that you find around a place that are like for forced to to work as like laborers. Um, and I think normally in the game, if you allow um, a slave type orc to kill you, they should get armor and sorts of things and they level up. Um, so I don't think it's actually possible to get a high level guy that still has this aesthetic. But the black veins and things look really cool. Cool dude. Bruise the Chopper, everyone's favorite uh, deranged idiot. I think he still says, like, I don't want the four and all that stuff, but yeah. Hacked Bruce. Arbaruk the Thrall. You get this guy from the uh, Altariel, the Elf Lady DLC as well. But this is a hacked version. Spider Summoner. Wave of Might. Very sick looking orc, you know, incredibly unique. Nazu Weaponsmith. <clears throat> cool looking guy. Well done. Arbeka the Blessed. Uh, oh yeah, he's actually in an upcoming video. Ooh, spoiler. Very cool guy. You'll see plenty of him. Ukbuk the Shield. This is not a hacked guy. He looks crazy. Is he alright? Pugrish the Slayer. He's been in the video as well. He was in my main video, my most popular one. The, the Hacked Online Conquest video. Very cool looking guy. I've got some videos coming up with him doing pit fights as well. So... He's very strong in the pits, very strong. Takra the Blight. Again, Poison Dude. Dark Assassin. Double Blades. Looks really, really cool, actually. Akoth, Slayer of the Dead. Another another of those types. I'll Rock the Undaunted. Bagger the Rugged. Again, you there's so many tower looking guys, you know? So many. Again, Spider Summon at them have some really cool, really cool traits. Oh, and that's it. That's us done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go to my army. This is my Lithlad fortress. Um, and this is going to be the challenge that I'm going to set to you. You know, First of all, thank you for watching through all of that if you managed to get through. Or if you skip straight to the end um, by the little chapters I've created, then also welcome. This is the challenge I want to set for you guys. If you're on Steam or like PC and you can search for my name, TTXD, in... Uh, friendly conquest or meet me in normal ranked online conquest I'm gonna make my Lithlad fortress um, the most interesting fortress that I can make it by using all of my most interesting and most unique hacked orcs that I, I have what I've collected across across the amount of time I've been playing at the moment um, I have Pugris Slayer as the overlord uh, he's, he's very cool I might change him not sure um, there's a lot of orcs that I need to change actually on this, but just to show you some of the ones I've got. Scoth the Knife, you used to meet him quite a bit. Nazdug the Scorpion, he wasn't actually in my garrison either. Very cool looking orc. Kothal Gravemaker, I don't think I'm going to keep this guy in the fortress actually. But um, this guy's staying. Ringwraith the Unkillable, he has Shaken Master, but see if you can kill this guy. Very strong. And then Thrak, the wrestler, is currently here. Again, I don't think he's not really very interesting, so I'm gonna move him. But I'm gonna put like the Hulk guy for sure, he's going in, and I'm gonna put all the some of the stronger, more interesting hack talks in this so you guys can fight it. Um but that brings us to an end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um it's absolutely fantastic that I've reached a thousand subscribers and I'm a YouTube partner now. It's all that process has gone through. It's yeah, really, really exciting stuff. Thank you all very, 
very much um, for all the help and support so far. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.